Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another large non-combat ship, and this one is called the Gyro Dragon 2021, which is this lovely thing right here. And if you haven't guessed from the name itself, it's referring to this part at the back here, where we've got spinning blocks on rotors. That's a very dangerous thing to have on a ship, because you never know when it might anger Lord Clang, and end the universe as we know it. Pressing F10 and finally the Gyro Dragon in the spawn menu, if I can actually spell it correctly, there it is. This thing is 2,220 large blocks using the Sparks of the Future, Degra block number one and number two, and the Waysan DLC packs. It features no mods, so we'll give this a thumbs up, which I already have. We'll move all the way around to the very front, have a quick look around the outside, then we'll have a tour of the interior, which is a fairly large interior for this type of ship, and we'll have a closer look at the spinning part at the back there. So coming all the way around to the very front here, this is what we get. Front and centre we've got ourselves a transparent LCD screen with our flight seat sitting right behind it. Surrounding that we've got this lovely glass piece for our bridge where we can see two control seats sitting inside for your co-pilots to get inside and control a few things around the ship. As we continue around the side here, we're going to see a lot of shiny blocks in the green and in the light blue. Over on this side, we've got ourselves a doorway to get in and out that leads directly into the bridge. And dropping just below it, we've got ourselves a ore detector with another one on the opposite side to find any kind of precious ore patches if we fly close to an asteroid. Continuing along, we're going to see a bunch of hydrogen thrusters, which is one of two types of thrusters that appear on this ship. As we move further and further along, we'll eventually get to this part right here, where we've got some windows where we can peer inside at our refinery bay, then it comes across onto this little walkway that goes all the way around our spinning section. That comes across onto a ion thruster pod that just sits right on the side here, that moves all the way around to the very back, where we've got a few more hydrogen thrusters to help push us around, with two access doors to get in from the rear. Moving up and above, we're going to see a bunch of railing going around the top, because we can get out and walk around here. It would be pretty dangerous if this thing is moving, but it's entirely up to you whether you want to do that. Moving further along to here, this is going to be our spinning section, where we've got some rotors that come onto some shiny blue blocks. They come onto another rotor on some shiny yellow blocks. And that comes over to some conveyors that links towards this greyish blue reactor in the middle, where we've got two exhausts shooting out their electrical goodness straight into it. We also have some smoke effects coming off it, which will become more apparent when we start moving. We'll do that when we do a thruster test. But yes, I'll just spin around and around and around, and you may need to lock the ship into a station like I have right now to stop it from wobbling around. It's not too much, but it can be a little bit jittery when trying to walk around the ship. Moving past this, we do have a ladder to get up to the top side if you were to, say, try and repair this from the ground. Then moving all the way up to here, these are some catwalks that come over to our doors to get inside. Some more hydrogen thrusters to help us on the down got a beacon and antenna set up so we can always find this thing, and dropping right down here, got ourselves some more exhaust blocks shooting out more electric and smoke. Moving towards the front, we got some more catwalks for some additional decoration, then we come across to some more shiny blue blocks, that eventually leads to the thrusters where I'm standing at the front above the bridge. Coming down and underneath and past our bridge, all the way down to here, we got a little hydrogen thruster pod, there's the other ore detector on the left hand side, We've got an air vent to suck in oxygen to refill our tanks while on a planet. Then moving towards the back, some large hydrogen thrusters, some small hydrogen thrusters. Then we'll eventually get to a connector where we can load and unload ice to refuel this thing. And here is our spinning section at the back once again. So there we go. So that is a very brief look around the outside of the Gyro Dragon. And it does, for such a simplistic ship, look fantastic and I really love this part at the back here. This is what has drawn me to do a showcase on this ship. I've always wanted to make something like this on a larger scale but I never quite got it to work correctly without it breaking. But this seems to be very very smooth. Anyway, grabbing hold of my character who's sitting at the front, what we're going to do is work our way from the front to the back by accessing the door right here. So we do have some railings where we can drop ourselves down on which is very nice. Got a very scary view below us where we see the planet below and some asteroids. But opening up the door, we can walk inside and the door will automatically close behind us because we've got WIP's auto door and airlock script. 
turning around and opening up this doorway, we're going to come to our bridge section, which is this lovely open area. We've got some railings to make sure we don't accidentally fall off this upper section. And right below there, we've got ourselves some gyroscopes where we can manually access them in case we want to turn them down. If you were to come further across to here, we've got ourselves a small little walkway section that leads to a doorway that goes further into the ship. And on the opposite side, there's a doorway for the opposite side door. Walking down our blue steps, we've got a projected table front and center. Looking up, we've got some conveyors going up into the roof. And we've got some air vents on the side to make sure we don't suffocate while I'm inside here. There's the gyroscopes on the opposite side. Then we can walk up these stairs over to here, which will lead to a control seat, which currently has nothing set up. But if you wanted to and wanted to have your passengers do something, you can have some thrust controls, maybe some beacon controls, maybe even a cruise control setting. But that's entirely up to you if you want to do that. Yes, turning around and walking down, it's going to be the same on the opposite side. So just walking towards the front here, got a lovely little walkway going across to our flight seat, which is how we're going to fly this thing around. Looking up, we've got a spotlight to light up the darkness, then using my jetpack and coming all the way down. This is what's underneath, which is a fantastic view all the way around, thanks to all the glass. Now we can go further into the ship, through this doorway right here. Opening it up, we come to a small intermittent section. The blue doors are going to lead to a small living quarter type area where this door will open up and we'll come to our medical bay to recharge on, respawn on, or even change our equipment looks. Got an air vent inside here, and we do have a little chair to sit on. Moving to the opposite side, we've then got a small proper living quarter. Once again, we've got a corner chair, we've got a locker to store a bunch of stuff in, and we've got a kitchen block to cook our food with another air vent. Coming back through here and moving towards the back of the ship through the silver door, this is a small little maintenance area where we've got a few beds for your crew members to sleep in, and we've got a couple of programmable blocks up on the sides. So this one over here is going to be Whip's auto door and airlock script. So there we go. And we'll have one on the opposite side, which is currently empty. But you could put something on here if you want to. So there we go. Turning around and facing this side. We've got another air vent to make sure we don't suffocate inside here. And we do have a gravity generator, so we don't just float off when we jump. A few cargo crates for some additional decoration. Then moving towards the back, we have another seat. Now this seat can be used to fly this thing around. Here you can see that the thrusters are all moving. And this is because we've got a couple of internal seats to fly this in case the front cockpit, which is very exposed, took damage and you need to try and fly this away from a dangerous situation. Just turning around and facing back, we can see a jump drive where we can jump 2,000 kilometers thanks to it. And there is our oxygen tank, which our air vent below us is filling up. Got a cargo access right here to drop stuff off if you wanted to. We can come down to here, which is then lead into a little section. So this walkway section all the way around to here is going to lead to a little open area where we can view our spinning part right at the back. So there we go. Turning around and looking behind us, we can see the back of our large refinery with a few modules on it. And we do have a refinery access right there for manual control. Looking behind here, we've got a few little racks with a few things on it. And there are some batteries above us. Walking all the way around to the opposite side is going to be a bit of a disappointment in comparison. This is only a lone armor locker. So there we go. So walking all the way around and coming out of this section and moving all the way around to the back. Here we go. We've got some stairs that can go up and some windows to peer outside. We've got some more gyroscopes with some easy access to control them. And looking up, got ourselves some catwalks that lead further towards the front. Yes, there's another gyroscope. It says chair to sit on. We've got some more shelves with some more stuff on it. And we've got a few kitchen tables to have a little snack while we're doing some engineering work. So what we'll do is just walk all the way around to here because this is going to lead us around our spinning section of our large reactor and the little electrical effects. Just walking all the way around, there's our ion thrusters and there is a small intermittent doorway because coming around to here, we're going to lose all oxygen. So yes, that's the view at that side and just walking towards over to here. We'll eventually get to the doorways where our hydrogen thrusters are at the back, which is right here. So opening that up, there's our hydrogen thrusters. So we just open that up. Now we just run around the opposite side there. And there we go. We do get a fantastic view of that. And I do love that, how it just spins around and around and around. Anyway, coming all the way around to here, what we're going to do is now move further up into the ship. So coming all the way around up these stairs and towards to where we just were, what we're going to find is a little toilet and a doorway that'll lead outside. So opening up this, 
Now come to the catwalks we saw earlier, and this will lead us around the top of our spinning section, where we can get some manual access to our iron thrusters if they ever took damage and need welding up. We can just walk all the way around. And there we go. We can also access our ladders. Oop, I got bopped by it. Yes, we can access our ladders here, which is going to be a little bit scary to look at. You might get crushed by one of them, but you won't. Yes, it's still a possibility. Coming over to here and dropping down, I think I'm on the opposite side now. We'll see the exact same setup, which will be a toilet right there. Then we can move further down and we can start moving towards the front once again. So there's some more auction tanks on our side, more conveyors going everywhere, and we've got another air vent right behind us. Got a lovely wooden floorway and some windows to peer outside. We then got a doorway which we can open up which will lead us to this very ominous room. So once again, we've got another seat which we can use to fly this thing around, but we also have a survival kit to quickly heal ourselves and to respawn on. Just getting in the seat, bring up the HUD. You can see that the thrusters are now all moving around. So yes, this is a very weird room, but it's also nice if you need an additional place to fly this around, because the other two took damage. You can also have some co-pilots sitting in there ready, but that's entirely up to you if you want to do that type of thing. And yet you can see the electrical effects coming from the exhaust block above us. The electrical effects and smoke will sort of just clip through the blocks every now and again. There's not too much you can do about that. That is pretty much it for the interior. I don't think I've missed anything out. So what we're going to do is now come all the way to the very front once again. We're going to get into the seat. We're going to do a quick thruster test. And that'll be it for the Gyro Dragon. So walking all the way around to the very front here, getting into the seat, bringing up the HUD, we have absolutely nothing to play with. So if you want to, you could come into here and maybe find your hydrant thruster controls for some cruiser control. You could also have some light settings, maybe some connector settings if you want to. That's entirely up to you. So pressing I, coming into here, and we're going to turn this into a ship. And as you can see there from our little control seats, we can wobble around a little bit. We're moving at 0 0.02, 0 0.03. And we do it jutter a little bit, so that is why I turned it into a station. But anyway, coming out of that, coming to third person, we're going to move forwards, and why is there a drilling thing over here? So moving forwards, this is what we get, we've got some great speed thanks to our large hydrogen thrusters and our large ion thrusters. We're very quick to get to 100 meters per second, and there you go, you can see the smoke effect coming out of our little spinning part and the middle section. There we go. Coming to a stop, we are a little bit slower, so we may need to do a 180 to come to a complete stop. But we are quite slow turning, so by the time you do a 180, you'll probably completely stop. Then we'll start to move left. And then move right, we got a little bit of speed with that, we're a lot slower than forwards and backwards. Moving down, we're a lot faster than left and right, but nowhere near forwards and backwards. And moving up we feel a little bit faster than everything else. Coming into first person view and moving my mouse around, we have gone a lot of weight on here. It's still a little bit responsive, but it does drag quite a lot while moving the mouse around. That can be easily fixed by slapping on a few more gyroscopes. Yes, as for the spinning section at the back, it's fairly self-explanatory with how it's all been set up. It's just rotors connected onto each other and spinning around at a steady rate. So the final thing to do with this video is slam ourselves into an asteroid which is straight in front of us and we'll see what kind of damage we can do. So turning off our damage, we are nice and lined up. We're going to come out of this, turn off that, and we're going to start to move towards the back of the ship. So there is the asteroid coming up to us. There is a little hole there. I'm hoping we're going to go straight through, but I don't think we are. We might. Maybe. No, we're not. We're just going to slam straight into it. Hopefully we are going to hit it and not go over it. Three, two, one. And we have... Ooh, we sort of missed it. Wow. We just removed part of the front. So putting my jetpack on, we got our auto dampness turned on. We just ripped a hole straight through the side of the front of the ship, but we are still flying, we are still moving forwards, and there is a little shiny block just floating away. So we didn't do too much damage, and we are still flyable thanks to... Oh my. Yes, we are still flyable thanks to our two other cockpits inside the ship, and we have somehow damaged our little ring on the side there, so it's now only partly spinning around, and we lost part of the section at the back there. Yes, like I said, that is pretty much it for the Gyro Dragon 2021. There will be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around for it yourself. I highly recommend you do. I'll be back with another video some point soon. 
Bye-bye.